Here's what I'm working on today. Uh, this is a leotard that I designed and made, and I made it pretty quickly. This one is a, I used like a really stretchy sparkle mesh, nude mesh. Um, I don't use this very often, but it is really stretchy. So I finished the front with crystals. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And um, this is the back, I'll show you the back. This is the back and what it looks like without crystals. And uh, today I'd like to get all the crystals on the back and even sew everything down because some of these crystals are uh, hot fix. So these, the little ones are hot fix. Uh, so I set them with an iron and then um, the bigger ones are glued on and then I sew them as well. So, a lot of sewing to do. So that's my goal for today. Okay, so I finished putting on all the crystals on the front and the back of the leotard, and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I've sewn them all down. I, yeah, so I decided to use like a nude colored thread. Um, the tiny ones, these are 10 millimeter sew on. The holes aren't actually big enough for me to get a needle or my needle into, I'm sure I could find a smaller needle. Um, so I just glue those down really well and I don't sew them, but I sew everything else. Um, so yeah, this is the front and I'll just turn it around. This is the back. I'm going to, I think, add a few crystals to the blue mesh on the bottom of the skirt just to um i like that look it just sort of sparkles 
And I might add some black to the black skirt. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice. Um, one thing I've learned to do that I think I'll probably do unless people request otherwise is a soft, um, almost like a bias tape finish on the armholes and the neck. So this is very, not loose, it's, it's tight enough, but it's also very soft, very comfortable, not unelastic. Um, I know some girls from my previous leotards have found especially elastics around the armhole quite uncomfortable. So this should be much more comfortable. Um, and it's the way I'm going to finish most of the leotards I make in the future. Um, always learning, always learning new things. So, um, yeah, so I think I'll finish the skirt and then this will be ready to be washed and... Yeah, I don't know what its future is, but I like it. It was fun. I designed it and I, yeah, I had a lot of fun making it and I, I actually made it fairly quickly. So um, proving to myself that I can move a little faster if I want to. Um, so yeah, I'll start doing the skirt now. Good morning. Uh, today is another day. I finished this leotard still on the dress form for now. Uh, so I'm going to move on and start finishing this leotard. So this one is a, uh, a just a, a leotard I'm working on for just to sell um, to use up some of my fabric. It's in this very pretty blue and I made these scrolls and they're all sewn down. This one's going to have a half skirt. I think I have a a drawing of it on my iPad. I'll, I'll find that. But um, I've done, so this is the back. I've done um, the shoulders are together and I've done the keyhole which is just this back loop in the back. So that's all finished. And now I have to do the neckline, the armholes, and then I'll do the side seams and the crotch and then at that point I think I'll put the skirt on and then I'll finish up the leg uh, casings for the elastics around the legs and then it will pretty much be put together and then I will work on painting. For this one I'm probably just going to do little bits of black uh, accent on the white pieces and that's probably about it. And then I will be on to crystals. So this one I don't think will take that long. Um, but yeah, that's my thing. One of the things I'm gonna work on today. The other thing is uh, working on a drawing or drawing out the pattern. So I, I trace everything or not trace. I, you know, draw everything on tissue paper and that's my pattern. So I'm gonna Okay, so I finished serging. You can see both sides. Um, I know I need to go in, pull out the basting stitch before I continue, but basically I'm going to fold it like this. This is hard to show with one hand. And I'll triple zigzag stitch it right on this edge here. And that'll make a nice finish. I did make this. Um, probably about half the size of the one I showed you before. Because this is kind of for a little kid, I don't think it needs to be as big as the other one. So this will be nice and comfy and pretty invisible. And yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like when it's completed. So I did the zigzag stitch on the right side. And that's kind of how it looks. It gives a, a nice finish. It's all surged on the inside. Nice zigzag stitch, which is flexible on the outside. And then this nice soft um, bias tape loop here. 
So I've jumped ahead a bit. Um, I did finish all the sewing. Um, I finished the neckline. You can see here. It looks nice. It's uh, different from the armhole finish, which I did show in detail. Uh, I did finish the keyhole. So I think this looks nice with the neckline being similar to the keyhole or same as the keyhole. Just ties it together nicely. So those are finished and I have a uh, loop, sorry, a hook and loop clasp there. And I have it stretched at the moment on this piece of cardboard. I had filmed more. I had filmed uh, putting on the skirt and I don't know what happened to that footage. So unfortunately it's gone. As I say, still learning how to do all this stuff. Uh, I did get a new computer and I, I feel like in the transfer of information from one computer to another, I lost some footage. So sorry about that. But I did start painting. I did some sort of black details on the white and I've been doing it on this side and I am not quite finished. I'm thinking of doing some little blue accents too, just sort of um, giving this a little bit more dimension. Uh, I'm not positive if I'll do that, but uh, I finished painting this little leotard and I think it looks good. I did um, all the black and then I kind of went in and did um, a blue sort of shadow, I would call it. And it's a funny paint. It's um, got a bit of a sparkle to it. It's hard to show, but uh, it's a little bit glittery, which is great. It's a really good quality paint. Uh, it's a fabric paint. Here, let me grab it. So this is the paint. It's a Pebeo set of color and it's a glitter. And it's really pretty. It's got like these iridescent, almost teal or green in a blue base. And the blue base is really nice. It's quite, um, quite thin, I would say. So it's really good for this sort of shadow effect. So this is totally done now. And I will um, probably start the crystals tomorrow. Um, one thing with these colors, I should explain. So I used the black version of this paint and I used this one. So I've only used two, but they are set with uh, heat. So you can see here, I think it says five minutes. I don't know if it really needs five minutes of heat, but um, when I put the crystals on this, I will be putting quite a bit of heat on the paint. So it will set the paint when I put the crystals on. So you don't need to worry about setting it separately. It will all work out. So yeah, I will uh, now count out the crystals. That's what I do. I roughly estimate how many crystals I need. I count them out so I can keep track for um, pricing.
I've done the two sides here. I only have two so-on crystals at this point, right here. I mean four so-on crystals, well, two on each side. I want to create a necklace, which is pretty common in a lot of uh, rhythmic gymnastics costumes. So I'm going to make something here using um, sew-on crystals, and then I'll fill in with the um, hot fix crystals. Place the crystals back on the leotard and I've added a piece of um, parchment paper uh, between the board and the leotard just so these crystals that are on the nude won't stick to the board. So I finished counting the crystals for this one and it looks like I used 1680 which is great because I was hoping to use around 1600 for this one. Uh, I usually use probably about 2500 or more on a leotard so it's good and I used 30 so on crystals so these big ones which are the most expensive of all the crystals you can use. Um, so that's good. So this one will be, I'll be able to price this one um, pretty reasonably. And um, I'm gonna list it on my Instagram account, which I have in the info below. And once it's sold, I'll mark it as sold on Instagram. So I finished two leotards. This one here is for a 14 year old. Um, you can see there I added the blue sparkles to the bottom of the skirt. And then that's how it looks. Um, I did put, here I'll show, turn it around. 
So on the front here, you'll see I have these purple crystals, and these are actually really cool. They're a new crystal from Swarovski. They're an electric line, I think they call them. They have like electric violet, I think, is that what that one's called? And then they have like a neon yellow, and they have pink and green and blue. I found dupes for all of them except for the purple. So the purple one is actually Swarovski, and I ran out of them because I only bought a tiny bit. So I am waiting for them to come in the mail, and they should come by the end of this week, and I'll add some to the back as well. So you'll notice the front has the really pretty purple, and the back does not. So that's one final little touch I have to add to this one but this one's done it's actually washed and ready to go so it's for sale I'm gonna put it on my Instagram account and once it's sold I'll mark it as sold and then this one is for an eight-year-old eight to ten it's super cute I really like this one and I did like a little half skirt with some crystals on the bottom, very sparkly. And yeah, it's super cute. This one also will be available for sale on Instagram if anyone's interested. So that was everything I've completed this week. Yeah, thanks for watching.